All right, I wanna show you an up close look of the Unit 1 Digital Slides for the Science of Reading Guide to Phonics and Beyond. Um, right now you're gonna see this is the home page or the landing page. You'll also always be able to get back to this page by clicking right here in the corner. And this is if you wanna separate your slides. If you don't have time to teach all of the different sections, you can break this up in the day. You might start with ABC warm up for your morning time and then go into the different components throughout the day. You can also adjust the slides. There are 25 in the slide deck, but because I give it to you in a PowerPoint version, you can go in and delete slides off if you would like. So you're going to see, actually I already clicked through. We're on the first page, so this is the ABC warm up page. This is gonna change throughout the days. So they'll always be um, encouraged to sing the ABC song and do some kind of movement. And I will change this so that it's a surprise for the students each day. Now also, you, because you have the version of the PowerPoint, you'll be able to um, insert your own songs and something you could click and it go to a website of your choice. Um, this is the phonological awareness. It will change, of course, with the units. Up here, you see the little teacher icon, and that's going to give you um, direction on what you're asking them. And then down here are going to be your prompts. So they're kind of out of the way from the students. So that's what you're going to actually be saying. And this one, they're going to read, you're going to read aloud the sentence. So they're going to be listening, and then they will repeat it back to you. So I'll have some kind of visual for them up here. Now this might change if it's rhyming. It might be two pictures and they're deciding if they rhyme. Um, this is the beginning of a letter introduction. So this is when Pitt is introducing the letter, just like in the lesson plans, we start sound first. So you'll see that sound icon. And I go from a teacher side to a student side or questions you're asking, and it's right up here for you. Um, again, we're still doing sound first, so we're working on that mouth formation. I have instructions on here on how the mouth should look. And then this is going to encourage them to try it on their own. Um, now we're going into more of the letter side, so we're adding in that letter component. And this version, you can guess, is skywriting, and it's all embedded up here for you, so you know exactly the prompt to say, and then you know to ask them again, what's our letter, what's our sound, and they're skywriting it. I'm still exploring the letter. There's a little header up here. This one, they're going to say A, 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 alligator. You could change that if you want to go sound first there as well. Um, on this one, they're going to be deciding is it A or not, and then I'm going to click over here on my board. Yes, it's A. Still exploring a new board. Is it A? Oh, sorry. New board. Sorry, I'd have to erase that first. Each board will probably be a little bit different. I'll click through those. And this next one, it's the same kind of concept, but now you're going to be exploring. Is it A? And if you know my program, the reason you're seeing X is X is the distractor I use for the first unit. Sorry about that. Now we have to click through those. This is just a fun fluency. Again, for the A, they've only learned A, so you're not seeing any other letters. As it embeds and it spirals, you're gonna see additional letters. So on D, you'll have A, B, and C there. Um, this is that vocab component. You probably know about it from my program. It's just a visual. This is an ax. It's working on that sound. An ax is used to cut items. What items would be cut? This is usually a printable, but now you can have it up here displayed. Now we're in my favorite part, handwriting. Um, working on those prompt, or excuse me, those strokes. So we're starting with that slant stroke. I encourage you to have them stand. There's a visual for them. You have an opportunity to practice the strokes with your pen. Going into the actual handwriting up here, I've embedded the actual prompt for you. Oh, goodness. And then you get this version where you could have the students come up or you could be doing it. Sorry, I'm still working with the new board. There we go. This is working with the other stroke. And at the end, it's a review. So that's a quick look at the unit one slides. Again, you would have this for all 25 letters. Units two through six will change, of course, because we're going to go to the word level. Thanks so much.